Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. At one time, the prize in this rivalry game was an actual live turtle. Turtles live a long time, but not forever. Now the big turtle is made of wood, but the prize is still coveted. Ohio State and Illinois get set to meet for the Illibus. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kurt for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. center stage at today's great rivalry game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. The Buckeyes offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Ohio State's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie, and you know the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receivers. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. to the receiver incomplete and that'll bring up a punting situation on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary green awaiting the return he really got a hold of that one this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback not much there on that opening drive. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop right, in this game. Like let's see if the like offense that. can give them something else to get excited about now. So let's see what the offense can do go as they down. come out onto the field. He's under pressure. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. That makes it second and eight. That's what I do. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 
Good tackle there in space. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 50. First down. Catches it, and that's all. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Three-yard line. Hill picks up two yards with a carry. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. <laughs> on the ground, inside. He's tackled at the 44. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Him down in the backfield. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. From their own 19 yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. pressure this quarterback is tough as nails Brad he's gonna sit in that pocket and give himself a chance the only problem is at some point you've got to have a feel almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit booming kick he makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Nice run up the middle. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Gets it. He's in space. That's a great tackle at the 41. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 41-yard line, first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 31. They come out in a five-wide set. Got it to his man on the screen. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Robinson gains about four yards there. Excellent job by the offensive line of getting out to block. There was some nice room to run after he caught the ball. 
from the 27 yard line. It's first down. Slings it and down he goes at the 18. That brings up second and one. Looks left, picked off. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 17-yard line, first down. down at the 27 so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game handoff up the middle they'll bring him down at about the 27 yard line that brings up second and nine from their own 27-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. come and he's tackled at the 42 yard line that makes it first and ten First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. They bring him down in the backfield. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second and 10. He scrambles. He's wrapped up for the sack. And for Gibbs, that sack was his fifth of the year. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Johnson to punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And he has it on the corner. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He gets rid of this one. So at the end of one quarter, still no score.
Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. That's how we do, Dean. That's how we do. They don't want to lose. That makes it third and 11. From their own 38 yard line. Third down. Tackle at the 34. From the 34 yard line. First down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Well, I think this time he knew he was probably going to take a shot, but he hung in until the last moment and delivered a catchable ball. That's exactly what you want to see from your field general. So the offense back in the red zone here and looking to erase the memory of that interception on their last trip. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires out to his wideout. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. From the one-yard line, second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackles him hard at the one-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Up the middle for a nice game. McMahon gets seven yards on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he's scrambling, and he is drilled at the six. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the six-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. First down.
He makes his way to about the 28. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. McMahon gains seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? They'll line it up again on third down. Tackled after decent pickup. Green, back to return it. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Green takes it to 14. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He makes it to the 25-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Five wide. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 32. Gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. West awaits the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. Well, if you're a fan of old-school smash-mouth football, you got to love this one. Or if you're a fan of just sloppy offense, this has been bad for both teams. Let's see who can get things going here. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Second and 10. Ball on the 32. Throws incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. That brings us third and 10. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference. Offense. It'll be third down again Still after that penalty. Down. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. So with the penalty, they've got third and a mile. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. First down. He 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 44. Two down, two down. Check 91. 91. Caught, and he's hit immediately. is out to the tailback on the screen. Ohio State will have one timeout remaining. Well played by the offensive line to sell the defense on the pass rush and then get out in front to make some room for the screen. From the 45-yard line, first down. Once and all, going deep. Picked off. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. Scrambling around. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. We've played a half. No score here. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Locked up on the scoreboard at halftime and not really much separation in terms of who's had momentum in the game either, David. It seems as if every move one team's made been countered by the other. Yeah, tick for tack. You score, I score. You hold, I hold. And, you know, this is uh, this is two great teams going at it. And that's what's – it's always fun to see the chess match go back and forth. And, you know, the uh, momentum swing one way and all of a sudden swing back the other way. But very rarely do you see it go back and forth, back and forth. And now we got it all gridlocked at the half. And it's a good ball game. And it's going to be fun to watch in the second half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23. Now he tries to buy some time, and he can't get away from the pressure. That is a loss of six on the play. That'll bring up third and long. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. 
Incomplete. Almost picked off. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. West is waiting for the snap. Booming kick. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's got an opening. And he's level at the 39. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. From the 39-yard line, first down. Fumble. They fall on it. So the offense will keep possession. He can breathe a sigh of relief this time, but he has to keep the ball off the ground. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Nice run up the middle. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. That makes it 37. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 91 in the mic. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. And he's sacked. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 22. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 22. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. First and ten, let's see if they can build off that great run. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Davis off the right side, and down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. He's got 
the corner. And they push him out at the 30-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. <laughs> Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He flings it. But you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at the 30. That'll make it 35. He's under pressure. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Johnson to punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it to the 32-yard line. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Illinois has a three-point lead. Tackle at the 26-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. And he's got it, going the other way now. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. And for Bridges, it seems like he's been listening to the opponent's huddle all year long, and it could lead to a new school record. It's fun to watch this guy read the quarterback's eyes. He knows their routes as well as they do, and that's why he makes all these plays. First and 10, ball on their own 27. the middle for a nice game. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike one, Mike one. So we got man, man, man. McMahon gets a carry right side, and he is drilled at the 35-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Nice 
run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. First and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the forty six. Here's an opening. Nice run to the left there. That's three down and one to go. Illinois has got a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. tackled after positive yardage so the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down he got seven but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more good call and this play is number eight on the drive under heavy pressure throws complete he stopped immediately Bring second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They'll line it up again on third down. Larry, Larry, Larry. 91 in the mic. Stop your whining. Damn. What? What? Get this. What? Hey, if you kill it, motion me out. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, lucky. Come on. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. the distance and he splits the uprights let's go to the studio for this reese davis update let's check in on the sec where speed reigns and for kentucky they've lost two in a row the commodores cruise by 17. 3-3 game here the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off he just drills this one and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think we're getting to the point of who's going to crack first in this game. It's kind of a game of chicken. Which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses? I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. After a decent run up the gut.
from their own 42 yard line. First down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 43 yard line. From the 43 yard line. First down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's on the run. Bumba! That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Back was the intended receiver on the way. That'll bring up third and eight. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Watch two be drop. Watch two be drop. Get your cheese and Mike. Watch Mike. Watch Mike. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Tackle made the 37-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. He gets it up. No good. He pushed it to the right. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. On the run. That's a great tackle at the 35. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 35-yard line. Gives it up the gut. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he can't get away from the pressure. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Green, back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time in a defensive battle. Right, well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39. From their own 39-yard line. It's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Losses one yard on the play. Third down. Five 
five wide. And he hits him hard at the 43. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. And for Gibbs, he certainly made an impact. But when you have a defensive lineman that's able to control the football game from the inside, it forces the offense to have to account for him on every single play. Yeah, and with three sacks, you might want to start chipping in this guy. You know, you better use a running back, you better use a tight end, anything you can to slow him down. This is a time when the great players step up and make something good happen. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And they got him for a loss. Second and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday or not. So the sack makes this third and very long. A little over a minute in the game. He wants it all. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Number 22 brings him down at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. And he throws it away. Well, the player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. The kick is away, and he got it. The Buckeyes and their team pretty happy with that field goal, but I think you got to give credit to the quarterback. Well, I think you got to go back to the drive. Uh, the kick was clutch, but I think what the quarterback did and the offense did was even more impressive. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Illinois will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. 
from their own 30-yard line. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. He's hit and got away. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. They bring him down. We had a fight to the finish here today. 6-3, Ohio State. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.